I'm basically the tech support man for my family because I know how to restart the Wi-Fi router, which literally just consists of me unplugging a few cables and then just plugging them back into where they belong in like two or three minutes. And it's just whenever I try and like help out my parents with technology or like anything tech related, I just feel like a few years of my lifespan just being like shredded off because I just do not have the patience for it sometimes. And it's just like I know to I know my parents the technology is, is like caveman to fire. It's scary at first, but it is pretty beneficial in the long scheme of things. But then it's just like like I said, I just do not have the patience for it sometimes. You know, I just cannot deal with it because I think my mom specifically, she'll be like whenever I try and help her out with a website, whatever, she'll be like narrating everything like it's a pokemon game or whatever you know how they're like in the games they'll be like oh you got the spoon now you can go defeat an evil organization at like the ripe age of 10 or whatever and then it's just like my mom just repeats like almost everything that happens like on the screen like i notice i'll make myself i'll like i mean i notice that i'll make like a spelling error and then i catch it like really quickly like almost instantly and i'll be hitting the backspace key and then she'll be like what are you doing you know like you made a spelling error and i'm just be like yes yes i realized that and then she'll be like okay just don't do it the next time and i'm just like bruh i i hate this so much i mean i know she's a nice person i promise okay but then it's just like whenever you know how like people like put those ads will they'll be like oh would you like to make a donation so that we don't like end up on the streets or whatever i'm probably gonna die nope jk i lied but then it's just like they'll ask for donations on their websites which i still don't know why i haven't installed like an ad blocker yet hold on a sec i'm f i'm being famous right now hello fan yeah i still don't know why i haven't installed an ad blocker on my mom's computer yet as for my dad the things i usually help him out with are like related to his phone and you know he doesn't like repeat everything i do but then it's just like he wants to learn everything like down to the nitty gritty detail which is fine i guess you know it's like nice to teach my parents about the technology but then he makes everything take like forever because he wants me to explain like every single thing possible and i'm just like dad you know you just click on this one icon but then he'll be like whoa whoa whoa, whoa slow down slow down there buddy you know like what does this icon mean you know what does it represent like does it help us in the future and i'm just like it it's literally just like an icon to showcase the settings or whatever and i'm just like i i can feel my blood pressure slightly rising i'm just assuming that holy music starts playing whenever like i approach my parents to help them with anything tech related it's just like hello my children i'm here to help restart the wi-fi router and it's just yeah i'm just such an amazing teacher i just have so much knowledge when it comes to anything tech related you hear that steve jobs i'm coming for your neck nah i'm just kidding i can't do anything to harm steve jobs i heard he's like a pretty important person so i'm pretty sure he has like a ton of bodyguards surrounding him at all times does anybody else dislike it when their door is left open like a sliver or whatever because sometimes my parents still like come into my room and then they'll just like talk to me about whatever but then they just end up not using enough force to like close the door all the way so then i have to like manually get up from bed to like close it myself and this sucks especially during winter or whatever because like i'll just be chilling in bed you know like resting my eyes and then my room is like all warm and then my parents still like come in they'll like talk to me about whatever but then they just like end up not using enough force to like close the door all the way so then i'm just like bruh i have to like manually get up from bed and then and then the cold air is like getting into my room and it's just like mother father i'm gonna freeze to death you know why why are you running from me i am not a person you should be afraid of you have like full diamond armor okay fine if you're that scared of me i guess i'll like entertain you a bit i i really don't know how that guy died in other exciting news i went to the dentist recently to just get like a general cleaning done and you know i'm not really scared of the dentist at all it's just like whatever i don't i don't really care but then like sometimes my dentist will like have conversation with me whenever they're like cleaning my teeth and like yes or no questions are fine because like my mouth is open and i can just like communicate by saying like uh-huh or like not uh for no but then my dentist recently they were like asking me questions that weren't like yes or no questions you know they were like so since the earth has a limited amount of resources what is the most fair way to ensure that everybody gets a fair split without leading to the destruction amongst ourselves and i'm you know i can't just be like uh-huh you know it's not like a yes or no question 
I have to like actually communicate with words, but then like my mouth was open at that time because they were cleaning it. You know, the only way for me to communicate at that point was to like communicate by Morse code or like sign language. And I don't know sign language, okay? Like if I tried communicating in sign language, my like dentist would think that I'm like throwing up gang signs or whatever, or like having a seizure. It's just, okay. Like I don't get dentists who like don't ask yes or no questions while their patient's like mouth is open. Anyways, let's try and like actually win this game. I mentioned Morse code and now that's literally like all I'm thinking about right now because I don't know when Morse code was invented, but there had to have been like some people beefing using it, right? Like I'm just imagining that there were some like fire arguments back then in the day that weren't like recorded in our history textbooks or whatever. Like that would have been so cool to see. I'm just imagining like people using old English insults. Like I don't know any, maybe dunce. You know, they're like calling each other dunces while they're like beefing through Morse code. They're like, LMAO, look at your citizens. They're dying of smallpox. And then they're just like bragging about like how much corn they have or whatever. I don't, I don't really know my history all too well. Anyways, let's try and like actually win this game because I just have not been doing that too much as of recently. There's like a big sky base up there, which is comprised of like a team of three. So not fun to deal with, but you know what? We can manage this. I hope. I really wish I had TNT, but it does help but that these people are pretty oblivious. Yes. No, you don't. Actually, I want to go down here. It doesn't feel safe up there. Okay, it's like a 2v2v1, I think. So it's basically up to whoever just pulls off like the least dumb thing. And that is not going to be me. I'm here to do the dumbest thing possible. Anyways, let's go jump on this guy. No. Please come back. I need kills. I need the pretty coin noise. This is a really dumb idea from staying near a ledge. Well, I guess some dumb things can lead to great things. My voice sounds slightly more dead inside than usual for the first game because I played that first game as soon as I like woke up. I really don't know why I played video games as soon as I woke up. I don't I don't really think that's part of a very balanced breakfast routine, but then anyways, that's just an explanation. As for my voice in the first game, but then anyways, if you guys like this video of me mostly dying while I talk about very boring topics, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching. Later.